I decided to speak to some of these people with regards to their experiences. First up was Dave, who had deregistered his car. I had actually seen Dave's car parked in the street outside, and so I can confirm that it did indeed have its own non-UK plates. Although Dave did not want the car to appear on the film, here he explains the process. Um, yeah, my name's Dave. Um, I've uh, deregistered my car. The, the process I used is uh, essentially um, staying in honour and, uh, and notifying everybody involved, you know, DVLA mostly. Um, I think I've written letters to or sent notices to the Attorney General, um, the Ministry of Transport, uh, of all, yeah, all the police forces I could name or figure out. Um, there was uh, also the Chief of Police Officer, uh, sorry, Chief Police Officer of the uh, Association of Chief Police Officers. So essentially, if, if he um, is given a notice, then, you know, principal of, uh, notice to principal is notice to agent and notice to agent is notice to principal. So essentially, if he gets it, then every other police officer should, should essentially get this same notice. So, um, yeah, I basically uh, notified everybody what I wanted to do. And, um, and now I'm, uh, I'm travelling upon the highways in my privately uh, owned conveyance. So what does it all mean though? Does it mean you don't have to pay road tax and all that sort of stuff or what? Yeah, essentially it's, uh, we've been tricked, been heavily tricked. Um, we've been tricked into believing that we're drivers of, uh, um, of motor vehicles. Um, if you look up in the uh, Road Traffic Act, you won't find the, the word driver um, defined anywhere. Um, <clears throat> the only way you can find driver is if you look in a, uh, a legal dictionary and uh, there it's defined as um, one who's employed to, uh, uh, I can't remember the actual uh, definition offhand, but yes, one who's employed to, to, to you know, transport goods or material or passengers on the public roads. So it's a commercial term. Even the word traffic is a commercial term. You know, drug trafficking, yeah? It's, it's all commercial terms. Vehicle, okay, um, in the Road Traffic Act, you'll find motor vehicle defined, but you won't find the word vehicle. Motor vehicle is defined as um, a, uh, any type of vehicle uh, adapted for use on the road, yeah? But the word vehicle isn't defined. Go to your legal dictionary, you'll find a vehicle is another commercial term. So driving is a commercial activity. So if you're a taxi driver, you're a driver. If you're a bus driver, you're a driver. If you're getting in your car and going to the shops or going to work, you're not a driver. So now, you know, um, it's only that you associate yourself with this name, a driver. Now you uh, come under the, uh, the terms of the Road Traffic Act. So you're, what you're saying then is that you're no longer a driver? I'm no longer a driver. I've rescinded my driving license. As I sent it back and terminated the contract that goes with it. Um, so I'm not a driver anymore. Oh, yeah. I never were. I never was a driver. Uh, I just thought I was a driver, but I'm not. Well, can't, can't they just come along and crush your vehicle or crush your car mm. and stuff? Or like... No, because it's now because it's been deregistered. It's no longer registered with the DVLA. It is no longer a publicly owned motor vehicle. Okay, it's now a privately owned conveyance. It's my private property. So they've got no jurisdiction over my car. So could everybody do this? Um, yes, in theory, yes, they can, but not everybody's ready to, to do this. Because um, what it also means is uh, having, to, having to be responsible on the roads. Having that responsibility right, to act in um, full liability. Right now, if you've got tax and MOT and insurance and stuff, then you're on limited liability. That means nothing you do is your, your fault, is really all your fault. Somebody's going to come along and take responsibility for it, whether it be the government or an insurance company or, or, or whatever. So you're not responsible. It's like having a parent that, uh, and you're a, you're a toddler. You know, you're not that over, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll clean it up for him. You know, it's not responsible. Yeah. Uh, deregistering your car, um, rescinding your driving license, that, all that stuff, 
means you're going to have to be fully liable on the roads and not everybody is, is, is ready for that. Uh, I've seen a number of times people with the attitude that, uh, oh well, it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm insured, you know, and they drive according, accordingly. Are you insured then? I'm not insured. Getting insurance, for, first of all, it's a scam. It's a, it's a government um, perpetrated scam where the government and insurance companies have colluded. So, so no one, if someone had an accident and you were involved, no one would be able to get anything back off you then? Uh, no, I'm not saying that. Um, no. If I if I cause, again, I'm, I'm on the roads on, in full liability, yeah? yeah. So if I, if I damage somebody, if I damage um, property, yeah, it's my fault, I've done it, yeah? I would say, get, you know, get that um, whatever needs uh, repairing repaired, send me the bill. It's my responsibility. Okay, and I accept that responsibility because that's what I'm doing. I'm um, accepting full liability for my actions. Have you not had any um, sort of come back off the authorities, so to speak? Oh, I've had lots of agreement from the authorities. Yeah, I've um, sent, as I said, I've sent notices to them. Um, and uh, they've been, you know, asking for um, objections um, um, and whatever, you know, any, any you know, rebutting of my, my statements. But they've, uh, they've, you know, to this day, uh, they've agreed with everything I've said. Wow, it sounds, almost sounds too good to be true. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> when I say they've agreed, yeah, they've not come back and denied. Uh, they've, they've just been silent. Or they've spouted, um, you know, uh, irrelevancies to me. So if I'm saying to you, to, to DVLA, for instance, um, I'm not a driver because, you know, according to the legal definition, I, you know, I, I don't fall under that category. They come back with, all drivers must be licensed and blah, 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 blah. Well, I've just said I'm not a driver, so it doesn't apply to me. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for agreeing with me. Do you think more people are interested in this movement or go down the route that you've taken? As I said, people have to be ready to do this. And it's a, it's a big, big commitment, obviously, you know. Um, going out without insurance is a big commitment. You have to be um, mentally ready and, and prepared and responsible to do that. And not everybody is. So there are obviously some people out there who, um, who would look at this as some way of getting out of speeding tickets and, and, uh, and all sorts of other things on the road and act irresponsibly accordingly. So um, yes, while anybody can do it, there's a big leap you have to be ready to, to face down the police and, uh, and and speak to them, you know, with confidence. Um, so no, it's not it's not for everybody, but you know, uh, conversely, everybody anybody can do it.